So I did Control Alt Delete to get out of that looping insert boot media. So we're back where we were, I think. Exactly. So I'm going to turn off the PC again. <coughs> this time when we come in, I'm going to do F12. Which is boot option. So the boot mode is set to legacy, secure boot is off. All of these settings were done while talking to the Microsoft tech. So we've got legacy options or USB storage device or the mini SSD. So these were set in the boot priorities. I think I'm coming in off of the uh, the C drive, which is a solid state 500 gig SATA drive. Let's see if we get the spastic cursor with this one. Progress circles. Nope. Back where we were. So we'll shut off and come back again in again. And I'll hit F12. Boot option. FLAS for the UEFI options is the flash drive. Well, we're running in circles now. Just shut it off and come back in. Someplace there's an option to change boot priorities. There's the secure boot. Go to Windows Boot Manager, which should come in off of the C drive, I guess. And so I think we're going to see all I've seen of Windows 10. Blank screen. Nothing showing. Where's the cursor? I will move the cursor. And there is the spastic cursor. You'd like to see that a little closer? That is Windows 10. From this position, I have limited choices. I can wiggle the cursor around, or I can shut it off. Those are my only choices. Just hesitating before it light goes out on the power key. So I'll come back in again and go to F12. I just wanted to see, have you see what I saw after I had tried the installation. The installation was normal except for uh, I got down to the point where I could use express settings or I could select certain features to be turned on or off. 
I manually went through and selected some and deselected others and when I hit the next key the next thing I saw was that spastic cursor. So So here's the diagnostic panel and it says, do you see the color panels where the color bar is displayed? Yes. And then it's going to go through a whole series of diagnostics. I've done this previously. It takes quite a while so I won't go through the whole thing. But it's in two layers. It does this round and then it offers to do another more thorough round. I have not done the more thorough round, I've done only the first round and everything passed during that first round. And it takes several minutes, I'm not sure how long, but it all worked fine. So that tells me it's not a, not a hardware problem particularly, it's just a, a, a driver problem or something else that's uh, How do I abort? It's not uh, not responding to my mouse. I guess it's got things tied up. Well, I'll wait to get out of this uh, diagnostic, I guess. Data bus stress test, 84, 86, 88. It's not giving me a way to get out. going to check every block so I'm going to shut off the video.